Hi everyone, Sherman Chin here and today I'm going to do a uh, review of the Cold Steel Immortal clone. So uh, after some research, I found that this is actually a clone, a Cold Steel Immortal. So this is only less than 20 US dollars and it has an awesome blade. So this blade, I found out that steel is actually nice CR18MOV. So the steel is almost like the 8CR13MOV, but this is nice CR and uh, supposed to be better. Okay. Uh, so far from my testing, it's been okay. Uh, it's quite sharp. Let's take a receipt paper here. I've sharpened it uh, one time, and you can see how sharp this is. This is nice cr 18 mov okay so even the secondary edge let's try that it's also sharp okay i can cut with uh, either secondary or the primary edge so this is like a tanto uh, with a mirror tanto the top here is actually not sharp so this is not sharp so what it's good at because of this shape right it's piercing Right. Let's get a uh, uh, harder piece of paper here, you can see. So if I want to pierce, I can just do this and cut down. Right. So piercing wise, this is a very solid uh, tip because it has this part which is solid and then this is the sharp part. So when it pierces, it just goes through right, naturally. And uh, that's where it's good. So where it's bad is that uh, it's actually quite easy uh, corrosion it's not so corrosion resistant and it rusted a bit so I actually had to sandpaper and oil it so in order to maintain it you need to oil it a lot and speaking of sandpaper I actually need to needed to sandpaper some of this uh, like the plastic as well I don't know what plastic they use I don't think it's FRN but you can see here, let's see if I can get the uh, zoom to zoom in. Okay, you can see there's uh, like little bits of plastic coming out. I actually had to sandpaper that away, right? It's rough, okay? It's not nice. It looks like some toy. The only saving grace is that this uh, steel itself seems pretty solid, okay? Uh, it's actually really, really good and sharp. So I only sharpen it one time, I say, and look at how sharp it is. And this is less than 20 US dollars. So this is just like excellent sharpness for 20 US dollars. I'll give it that, okay? Uh, nice CR 18 MOV, like I said. Uh, not really stainless, so uh, it does rust quite easily. As long as you oil it, it's fine. The triad lock seems quite tough. But you can see there's a gap here so i don't know how uh, bad this is the construction but so far i mean i have no problems i didn't really use it for something too difficult i tried it with some gardening and it was okay and then i had to sharpen it okay so it doesn't retain its edge that well but like i said it's only less than 20 years dollars and you can see the edge here it's actually quite nice this is like a you know like those Gladius sword, except that it's not double edge, and it's very cute. I like the uh, design of it, and it also cuts like packaging. So, uh, if you just want something to cut your packaging, you do not want to destroy like your packaging. You can just use this little sharp tip, as you can see here, and then it can just pierce the tape, for example, and there you go. So, it's really useful for opening packaging. I find. I mean like you know for the price like uh it's better than i would say a glorified uh letter opener if you guys remember okay i'm gonna show you guys like uh, the glorified letter opener i had that i have that is the otf this one out the front otf this one is a glorified letter opener because the blade it just isn't sharp enough okay uh sorry not sharp enough it's it's very thin okay the blade stock is super thin as you can see here it's super duper thin so i find this to be a glorified letter opener okay it is sharp but 
it doesn't retain its edge and in fact this one retains its edge better i believe that is for 120 uh, steel this one is like say nice ER18 MOV and you can see how like how sh like how straight the cut is right so it's pretty awesome for the price it's just awesome it uh, closes well uh, it's huge as you can see here this is my Kaiser Beyond uh, you can just stay beside the Kaiser Beyond it has this uh, wave feature if you put it in your pocket and you pull it out, it's going to deploy. Like I said, um, the only thing is this triad lock seems a bit weak. But as long as you do not use it for something too tough, I think it's fine. I mean, like, come on, it's still a triad lock, right? And uh, it's better than a back lock and of course better than a frame lock. So I don't see any problem there. So right here, I have this packaging that I'm still removing. Uh, I can actually do it really well because you know it cuts like really easily I just don't want to destroy the entire package so I just am using it for precise precision cuts right and you see here I can even protect uh, the wrapping right? because I want to protect the wrapping over here I have my uh, what you call this? This is my termite killer. <laughs> so yeah, I want to protect it, make sure I don't cut the packaging, and I can keep this for further wrapping in the future in case I want to wrap any gifts. So it's perfect. That's it. This is just an awesome immortal knife for the price less than twenty US dollars. Can you guys believe it? only problem i said uh, rust form on the clip here and also on the blade itself but uh, i clean i clean it up with uh, some wd-40 and then you can just wipe it away with uh, olive oil and also spray it with uh, silicone spray so really nice i like it if you guys are looking for like a really cheap knife uh, I would recommend it but I would still recommend the original cold steel if you can get this is the cold steel immortal if you can get the original one uh, it's supposed to be in S35 VN steel right that one is really good and uh, that my Kaiser Beyond is actually using S35 VN on its blade so I know how good it is but this one is still pretty good really awesome for the price so guys that's all from me if you guys like uh, videos like this please do give me a thumbs up subscribe and click that notifications bell oh yeah before I forget if you guys want to buy original knives not this knife um, head on to thomas2use.com.my or use my link below with my coupon code Sherman Chin and get 5% off okay guys I'll see you next time take care now bye